So a typical day for a young scientist, and, and particularly in genetics, um, I, I should say. One of the reasons I love it is we do get our results back pretty quickly, and the first thing every one of us does is we run to the incubator because usually the day before we've maybe put a new type of DNA into a cell and we put it in the incubator to grow overnight. And so the first thing you do is you run in, everybody runs to their incubator and, and pulls out their cells and they can be bacterial cells or human tissue cells and, and you look at them and you make sure that they're growing the way you expected them to grow and you see if there's any characteristics um, that you had been hoping to see. Um, so that's the exciting part. Morning is always really exciting. <laughs> and um, then you usually go and, and get some lab work done at the bench. Um, there's usually one meeting, maybe a day, that you'll attend. And it'll be a different meeting on each day of the week. One day of the week, typically, let's say if you're working in a biotech company or if you're working in a university laboratory, either one, you're going to have a, a group meeting where everybody gets together. And um, it usually rotates. Somebody will get up and talk about their work. And I always find it interesting when it's the chemist who gets to talk or something that I don't know a lot about because it's my opportunity to, to continue to learn. Another day of the week, we might um, have a meeting, just a small group that are working on a project together. So there might only be a couple of us or four of us. And we talk specifically about that project, who's doing what, how it's coming together. We, re we review the latest data. And you know we adjust what we're doing, and then mostly we get excited. Um, and uh, once in a while, you have to go to meetings like uh, learning how to be safe in the lab, don't mix your bases and acids together, and cause explosions, things like that. <laughs> um, and then the afternoon, more work at your lab bench. And uh, later in the afternoon, I typically make sure my notebook is completely filled out. I write write down everything that I've done, every result that I've had that day. And then I always plan for the next day. My last hour of every day is me writing out what I'm going to be doing on my next day so that when I come in in the morning, I won't have to restart my thinking. I'll, I'll know exactly what it is I'm going to be doing. And, and by planning it all out the night before, I also make sure that I have all of the reagents and the cells and everything that I will need the next day, I know that I have them and they're ready to go. Otherwise, I go and I find them <laughs> and get them together and make sure that everything's ready so I can be really efficient the next day.